In this video, I want to show you how we use the integrated keypad to do some basic controls on the PowerFlex 525 VFD. So we have just some very basic controls right here. Now this right here is to select different parameters. So we're going to leave that alone for this video. And we're going to just use the four uh, inputs right here. So we have a start, a stop, a reverse, and then a potentiometer for speed control. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the potentiometer, set it into a random spot, and I'm going to hit the start button. You can see here that the VFD kicks on and runs to whatever frequency you set the potentiometer to. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and run this. Uh, let's just say I'll put it at about 20 hertz. And this frequency will set the speed of this three-phase motor. I have a stop button here I can activate that will stop the VFD and bring it back to zero hertz. I can start it up again, give it some time to ramp up. And then the last control we have here is the reverse. If I activate this, this will go from forward to reverse. So I activate the reverse button, the forward begins blinking and the reverse appears. But as soon as it goes into the reverse mode, this goes solid and the blinking forward disappears. Activate it one more time and it does just the opposite. This is really basic controls for the uh, PowerFlex 525, but these can be very useful in a tough spot. Sometimes if you're just running a very simple three-phase AC motor that needs simple controls, this is all that's required. Set it at the speed that you want, have a start button that activates it and allows it to run to speed, and a stop button here that will turn it off. This was just a quick introduction to the PowerFlex 525. We use the uh, ACD 525 TII Technical Education System VFD trainer for this video. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe. Thank you so much.